Do you want early access to the new start menu? Or do you want to show the new iconography for the battery icon or show the battery percentage on the system trade? As you can see right here at the bottom. If so, keep watching. In this video, we're going to look at the steps to enable the new features and changes coming with the November 2025 update for Windows 11 version 25H2 and 24H2. This update is scheduled for release on November 11, 2025, and Microsoft usually releases new cumulative updates after 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, check the video description to find the link to the video where I go over all the new significant changes coming next month. Okay, first, you have to check if you have the November 2025 update installed on your computer. So if you're doing this before the update is officially available, you have to enroll your computer in the release preview channel. And the easiest way to do that it just to go to the settings app and then on windows update we need to go to windows inside a program and i'm already enrolled in the release preview channel but if you're not you're going to see a get started button right here and from there you just need to select your microsoft account and then you need to select the release preview channel and restart the computer once you do that you need to go to windows update turn on this option and click the check for updates button that will download the latest preview of the operating system that includes all the new features however i do recommend that you wait a little longer until the update is officially available in the stable channel as an optional update but still before the final release which happens a few days before the intended release date and if the update is already available you just need to you go to the settings app and then on windows update turn on this option and then just click the check for updates button this will download the update without having to use the windows insider program then restart the computer and then you can check if all the features are available on your computer if not continue watching the video that i will show you what you need to do to force enable those features now it is not always the case but sometimes new features and changes depend on packages in apps updates that are available through the microsoft store and before proceeding it is also a good idea to check for updates through the Microsoft Store. So open Start and look for Microsoft Store, then go to Downloads and just click the Check for Updates button. And this will check all your applications and packages. And if there are any updates, they're going to download on your computer. Now, to force enable the new features coming with the November 2025 update, do this. Open the web browser and then go to this website and then go to this page to download the Vive tool and select the one that corresponds to your computer platform. In this case, Intel and AMD. Save this package to your computer and open the location where you save the file. Now, select it and click the Extract All button and extract all the contents. Now, one thing that I like to do is just to rename this folder to by tool, and then I like to copy it to the root of C. And as you can see, I already have it right here. Open the terminal to access command prompt. Right click and select the run as administrator option. Now, if command prompt didn't open, just select it from this menu. And now we need to run a few commands. First, we need to open the directory where we extracted the files for the byte tool. So I'm just going to go to the root of C and then I'm going to do CD file tool. And as you can see, this is a reason why I always rename the folder and I place in a root of C because it's easier to access. Now to enable the feature bundle for this particular update, we need to run the by tool command with enable option and with this number. At this time, you can restart the computer and you can check if you have all the new features available on your computer. If some are missing, then we're going to do the following. We're also going to run this command and this will enable the new start menu design on your computer and this command will enable the the new battery changes including the ability to show the percentage next to the icon and press enter now restart the computer and you should now be able to see all the features on your computer now you also have to understand that even though if you try to force enable the new features, in this case for the November 2025 update, you might not be able to enable all the features. Some of them might require a specific hardware and some of them might be limited to different regions. Also, when Microsoft says that a new update is available, that only marks the beginning of the gradual rollout of specific features. And sometimes the packages might not even be on the computer in order to be force enabled. So keep that in mind. And that's it. Let me know in the comments if you were able to enable all the features or at least some of them, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.